If you're looking for a romantic getaway this Valentine's Day that's close to home, a great place to wine, dine, and dance is at Ohika Castle in Huntington. Ohika's annual Valentine's Day dinner gives guests a chance to wine and dine in a historic Gold Coast mansion and experience a unique dinner and decadent dessert your taste buds are sure to love. Ohika's Director of Marketing and Design, Nancy Melius Merton, says the event is open to everyone. And we have tables of two, you know, which, are which is obviously very romantic, or you can come with a group of people, you know, up to 12 people. So, so it's a nice way to either have a party um, even single people can come with, uh, you know, with a group of people. It's a five-hour uh, event at Ohika Castle. It's uh, an hour of cocktails and then four hours of dinner and dancing. A uh, three-course dinner, which is designed by our executive chef, Chris Capello, and, uh, and a wonderful sexy dessert and um, decadent dessert designed by our executive pastry chef, Daniel Andriotti. Ohika Castle's executive chef, Chris Capello, and his staff have been hard at work planning and preparing the main dishes for this year's Valentine's Day dinner. If you could visualize uh, being inside the castle, having the fireplaces lit, the, the large, the very big fireplaces, uh, candles lit on your table, uh, so the atmosphere is set, and then starting to receive your courses of food just adds to that atmosphere. Um, and brings you in and comforts you um, for the, your romantic evening for Valentine's Day. Capello says his staff puts a lot of effort into making the food taste as good as it looks. There's no reason why you can't have good food and have it look nice also, you know what I mean? Oh, that's, that's the priority is that everything tastes good, it's prepared well, uh, you have uh, the best ingredients, freshest, um, no matter where they come from, if you haven't flown here or if they're local. Um, then it's uh, visual. Then you work on the visual aspect of it, um, so that it looks great. And I think we actually uh, did well on both <laughs> for these uh, Valentine's Day dishes. Each guest will be served a first course of a uh, three blended three cheese ravioli uh, in a heart shape with a tomato dough. Uh, that's served with a imported Parmesan cream sauce and micro basil. Their second course. Also, everyone will receive, uh, and keeping in line with the Valentine's Day theme, um, we have a sun-dried tomato tortilla, which is cut into a heart shape and fried. That's holding a heirloom, um, heirloom cherry tomatoes and challenging mozzarella uh, salad, surrounded by Ohio Valley microgreens that we had flown in. Uh, extra virgin olive oil and aged balsamic vinegar. For the entrees, there's uh, three choices. Um, the first one uh, being a beef duet um, that's served with a grilled prime shell steak um, that has foie gras and crispy shallots on it, crispy fried shallots. Um, in the middle there is a cream spinach sauce uh, dividing the two meats. Um, it also has a Yukon Gold and Cobb Smoked Baking Whipped Potatoes. And on top of that is a Fuji Apple and Calvados Brandy Braised Beef Short Ribs. Uh, the chicken entree is a all-natural chicken Wellington um, that's stuffed and it's wrapped in a puff pastry with a puff pastry cut out heart on top um, for Valentine's Day. Uh, mixed vegetables in the background and it has garlic cream and a veal demi glace. The fish entree which is actually my favorite uh, I really I'm really happy with the way it turned out is a pan seared red snapper over coconut jasmine rice and we're calling this a coral vegetable. Um, it has a few um, baby vegetables from again from Ohio that we ordered. We have a purple kohlrabi which is uh, similar to a Brussels sprout actually. Um, baby Romanesco is right here. Looks very much like coral. Um, and a few different colors of uh, baby cauliflower. We have some orange, purple, there's some green in the background. Um, and this white uh, coral simulation is actually uh, rice paper that's been fried. 
And of course, what would any Valentine's Day dinner be without the perfect dessert prepared by executive pastry chef Daniel Adriati? The idea this Valentine's Day was to have some fires rolling in, in the ballroom and really uh, wow our Valentine's couples. And my job was to design a really decadent and luscious uh, Valentine's Day dessert. So I took the idea of two uh, people sharing the same dessert and we thought not only should we have one item but we should have a series of items and actually uh, feed the dessert in the, in, in the manner of courses. We have here a heart-shaped um, red velvet cake filled with cream cheese and topped with a, a luscious uh, dark deep ganache topped off with um, chocolate dipped strawberries and we have some crystallized sugar, natural roses, encircling the cake. These are uh, cake pops. This is a rainbow pop, and it's made with a uh, different color of, of, of almond cake uh, rolled into a, a, a truffle ball on a stick. This is a croque and bouche. It's a mini croque and bouche. Um, it's filled, each profiterole here is filled with um, uh, French Chantilly cream and it's topped with, uh, with a candied praline uh, that should be really crunchy to the taste. These are, these are heart-shaped cookies that we, we offer for, for our tours. Chocolate dipped strawberries, and we will offer you truffles as well. If you want something more special and, and you go for a package, a champagne and strawberries package, you'll have champagne, um, chocolate dipped strawberries, along with um, heart-shaped uh, sugar cookies and truffles as well. This is a custom-designed cake. Um, if there's any special occasion that anyone is, is celebrating, uh, we can design and create a Valentine's design especially for them. And this is a small example of that. Um, it's certainly the, the proper holiday for any uh, pastry person or patissier or confection, uh, chocolatier to um, express themselves. Um, what a great reason, other than that, that uh, especially love and romance, to bring out um, beautiful feelings of, of love and romance with, with, uh, with chocolates and truffles and candy and cake and um, uh, all the good things that go with it. And I really promise that there will be a grand finale and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a wonderful sensation uh, that will be instilled in people by eating uh, a Valentine's Day dessert, especially ours here at Ohika Castle. So Ohika opens its doors on February 13th and 14th for tours and for our dinner and dance so that guests have the chance to experience all that Ohika has to offer. For more details and to make reservations, you can check out their website at ohika.com and look under events. In Huntington, Chris Kalora reporting.